we're going to continue looking at our relationships between two straight lines. I'm keeping my yellow stick here and I am now going to bring in two purple sticks from my geometric stick box. They're the same size. I'm going to place them on the yellow stick and I will take one of my natural sticks and place it with the purple sticks defining the distance. I'm going to secure them. Okay. And I'm going to remove these. But before I do, I want you to see that the distance remains the same. The distance between the yellow and the tan sticks remains the same. We're not going to call them sticks anymore. We're going to call them lines. I'll use these arrowheads to help us out a little bit to remember that straight lines go forever and ever and ever. They never change direction. These two lines go forever and ever and ever. They never change direction. I've got my two children here and they're neither happy nor sad. And I spent hours drawing these. I'm going to put them on the opposite sides. If they move along, you can see that they never meet. They stay the same distance apart at all times. When two lines never meet and they never get further apart and they never get closer together, we call these lines parallel lines. Parallel comes from Greek, para meaning alongside, and alelon or alelon, one another. So these are lines that are alongside one another. So remember, parallel lines never meet. They always stay the same distance apart. I've got a little bit more to show you. I gotta clean this up and then we're gonna learn a couple more new terms. So sit tight. All right, we're going to continue with our relationships between two straight lines. I've got two more terms to share with you. So what I've done here is I have attached a green stick from the stick box to my plane. I have, maybe you remember this from the quadrilateral lesson I presented a while ago. A little bit out of sequence, but this illustrates the right angle right here, okay? So I'm going to place this red stick so it forms a right angle and I'm going to attach it. I'm not going to attach it at the bottom here um, and I'll explain why in a second. And I'm going to check this side to make sure it's also 90 degrees. That looks good. All right, now what I want you to do is pretend that this stick here, this red stick, yes, there's two of them there. I want you to pretend that it's one stick, okay? And they are intersecting. So I want to check the bottom here and make sure that that forms a right angle. And I got to be able to get up a little bit and see. Yes, it does. And I'm going to attach it here, okay? So, whoop, that's why I didn't attach there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four right angles. I have two straight lines intersecting and forming four right angles. When that happens, when the two lines intersect at right angles, they are called perpendicular comes from the Latin word perpendiculum, meaning plumb line, but they are perpendicular, perfectly horizontal, perfectly vertical, forming four 90 degree angles. Now, I'm going to place a stick here. I'm going to take another stick and 
I am going to hold it off of the plane. My pink stick is on the plane. My blue stick is not. Okay? We could say it's perpendicular to the plane. This is our plane. Now, look at these two lines. Are they intersecting? No, they are not. They're not crossing each other because they're on two different planes. Are they convergent? Meaning, are they coming together? Nope, because they're never going to meet. So they're not divergent either. They're neither coming together nor moving further apart. They're not perpendicular. They're not intersecting. They're on two separate planes. When we have sticks or lines on two separate planes that do not intersect, we say they are skew. Okay? Skew lines. And I can even hold this up here and show you that these two, line, oh, these two lines are skew. They may pass close to each other, but they're never going to intersect and they're never going to be parallel. Those are the relationships between two straight lines. So I guess, since we've done a lot of work with two straight lines, my next lesson should be about the relationships between three straight lines. That's going to be coming up. Thanks for watching.